Hi, my name is Simon. On rainy days especially, we watch Frankie, Chevy, and Diesel on TJV. Sometimes we watch Josh too. Good morning. Day number, well, it's technically day number three in the truck, but day number two of a full day, husband and wife trucking. We're doing pretty good. Husband's the only one trucking. Well, she's helping. <laughs> Keeping me company. Telling me jokes. Okay. Not laughing at my jokes. Naturally. Naturally. So we're in uh, Innisville. Right? No. Innisfree. Innisfree, Innisfree Alberta. What a terrible name. <laughs> Muddy parking lot. I just would have got stuck in the parking lot over there last night. It was very dramatic. It was terrible. I thought I was going to need a tow truck. This parking lot is terrible. I miss America. You know? Pavement. Such a great invention. I hope that we discover it soon, too. And, uh,. I gotta move the truck up now because we can't even walk the dogs in this parking lot because it's so muddy. Like, look at what it did to my to my flip flops just yesterday, just getting out of the truck. <laughs> this is a truck stop. Ridiculous. It's a mud stop, apparently. It's a, it's a mud stop. That's what it is. It's a Canadian mud stop. We should have mud wrestling matches in here. They'd <laughs> probably be more prosperous. <laughs> Probably. All right, so I'm gonna move up to where it's not so muddy somewhere. I think they got like a, oops, my truck didn't wanna run anymore. I guess they got a little patch of pavement over there somewhere. Walk the dogs, we'll be on our way. Gonna try and get this load unloaded today yet. Well, we're not stuck, so that's a good sign. That's promising. Yeah, was, I thought for sure we'd need a tow truck. That was scary. So, yeah, I think we can pull up here and they got cement for the cars, but not for the semis, of course. Even though the semis are more likely to get stuck. Yeah. Okay. If I wouldn't have had a load on me last night, I would have been stuck. Yeah, I guess so. Okay, I had the extra weight. Here's a little bit of cement. Perfect. Really far like this, and hopefully it's far enough. And then uh, that's the building with all the stuff in it, right there. Very fancy. Indeed. Very fancy. Anyone in here like, need to go outside or anything? Anyone at all? Any yes. furry people? Just a little, oh, little guys back there. Shaking away. I think he's cold. <laughs> We're nervous. I don't know why he'd be nervous. Okay, we'll get ourselves back on the highway here. This is the Trans Canada 16. About an hour and a half to Edmonton from here. There was another driver that was getting unloaded first thing this morning before us. And he has a reload this afternoon he's got to get to, so he's got to get unloaded first. So hopefully by the time we get there, they'll be just finishing up or almost done. And they'll be able to unload us, get us done this afternoon yet, or late morning.
Each one of these packages is just under 2,500 pounds, 2,400 pounds. This whole thing across here, it's about 5,000 pounds. Wait, sorry, 10,000 pounds. <laughs> Four of them, 10,000 pounds are there. So, I'm trying to stay out of the wind over here. I'm pulling my tarps up in this little uh, area in here. But the wind is still sneaking around and blowing my tarps around. I got two more to roll up and then I've got everything done. I've got all my bungees put away. I've got all my tarps. So I will have all my tarps put away. My straps are all rolled up, put away. And from here, I've got the go ahead to uh, head home. We're going to head all the way home empty. It's, it's not ideal, but uh, we have that fertility appointment coming up day after tomorrow. And we can't miss that because it's a specialist appointment. And uh, specialist appointments, you can't just reschedule like any other doctor's appointment. So we can't miss this one, it's important. I didn't get a long weekend this weekend. This weekend was Canada Day weekend. In the US, I believe it's Independence Day weekend. And uh, I worked through it. I didn't. I only got 24 hours off, just enough time to go to the beach a little bit, hang out with uh, Britt's dad and stepmom a little bit. And other than that, I missed all the fireworks. Missed Independence Day, missed all the fireworks down there. So I didn't get any fireworks this year, but I get a, a little bit of an extra long weekend this coming weekend. We'll be home tomorrow night, which is Wednesday night, and I'll be home till Monday or Tuesday. Kind of hoping to stay home till Tuesday, but my bank account's telling me I should probably leave on Monday. And there we go. Tarps rolled up, I just gotta put bungees around them so that they stay wrapped up. Put them up on the trailer over here. I'm gonna put them up on the, on the step behind the truck. Looks like they're making some progress here. They got two off already. Got a few more to do. And I'll put the tarps up here. And my job will be done. Then I just go sit in the truck and surf Facebook, I guess, until they're done or until they need me. Usually I'm not allowed to help with unloading though. That's usually their thing. But if they need my help, I'll help. All empty and on the way home. Woo! One giant pothole here that we gotta get the steer tire around. Oh, oh, got the edge of it. Okay, that's all right. Way that's to okay. go, truck jack. It should be a quick, easy, light ride home. Hopefully the wind is still blowing from the west to the east, so push us home. Just entered Saskatchewan with our load of sailboat fuel. Light load. Better than the other load we had last time. Motorcycle doors. Right? <laughs> You're so not funny that you're funny. See? Works. We've got 1,100 kilometers left to go yet, so that's still... Hey, this is a long stretch to go empty, but like I said before, it's uh, something we couldn't really help this time. Uh, at least I get a nice weekend at home after this, and then we'll just hit the road hard after that. Real hard. A big stick. <laughs> My kids are gonna hate me. <laughs> hate me. <laughs> get all the way home. I think I'm going to take Highway 16, the two lane from Saskatoon, to save some kilometers. We'll make it to at least Yorkton. Well, we could probably make it to Yorkton tonight, or close to it anyway. We should be home tomorrow afternoon. Get him! <laughs> Brothers don't need space to beat each other up. He's just getting frustrated because Chevy won't let him bite his legs. <laughs> Get him! Back to Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan. 
try to find a parking spot here. We're not sleeping here, but we want to go in and have supper, a late supper, at the Husky House restaurant. This looks pretty full here already. What's the time? It's probably pretty late. It feels like it's still early. That's why I'm tired. I'd like to get further than this. I mean, we don't have to, but I really would like to. It's all taken up already. Oh, nope, here we go. Go right through here. Right there. Very nice. Thank you. Well done, darling. Thank you. Just park right in the middle here. It'll leave lots of space for anyone else who wants to back in here. Except for this guy in the blue doesn't know how to park straight. Yeah, not a lot of people in Canada do. Hey, Martin Brown. I know a lot of people that work for that company. Beautiful evening. It's better here than it was in Alberta, actually, weather-wise, temperature-wise. Yeah, it's definitely warmed up in the evening, and the sun made an appearance for a couple of hours, so that was nice. Just walking in to get our food. I'm actually not freezing. I was actually freezing in Alberta last night. Look at you. It was, well, not at night, but just walking around. It was cold. It was like eight degrees all night. It was cold, but I'm one of those people that runs on hot at all times, so I actually prefer things cold anyway. Even though, don't get me wrong, I love summer and the heat, but I die at it. <laughs> I'll just wash real quick first. I'll wash my hands. Brush my hair. Those kind of things. Well, it turns out they don't want our money. They're SOL. closed. Yep. Yeah. It's closed. It's nine o'clock. At I think a truck it's, stop. That's silly. Everything should be 24 hours at a truck stop. Yeah, look Trucker at all these. Truck time is not nine to five. <laughs> look at all these guys. They're all hungry. They got nowhere to go eat except Timmy's. Oh, well, uh, well we're going to go to Denny's down the road if they're still open. The Flying J. I guess we should have just gone there first of all. Yeah, we know that we like that Denny's at least. Yeah, we will find food. We're on a quest for food, but we will find it. If we gotta do Timmy's, we gotta do Timmy's. I won't cry about it. It is what it is. We'll have good food when we get home. I love the smell of truck stop parking lots. The smell of diesel exhaust. Oh, isn't that nice? That bathroom smelled great and it was so clean in there. Did it, it smell, was smell very impressed. diesel fuel? No. Oh. It smelled fruity and florally. It's lovely. I wonder if they make cologne, like diesel fuel cologne. Not if you want your wife to sleep in the same bed as you. <laughs> All right, Flying J. Denny's is 24 hours, so Denny's is always there for you. And I was gonna fuel at Flying J in Yorkton, but since we're here now, I'm just gonna fuel here now and I don't have to fuel tomorrow. I like the way your mind works. As well, we're here anyways. I wasn't going to come past here. This way I can get DEF too. Pick this one. Alright. Watch, it's probably not going to work. Probably. No DEF. No, we're good. Alright. Well, we've got our fuel and we're headed inside. Hopefully Denny's wants our money. Husky didn't want our money. Nope, wasn't good enough for them. Nope. Denny's is 24 hour as it should be. Country fried steak. Mm -hmm. No empty carbs, no croutons, no bun. Look at you. I've stuck to my diet this entire trip. She has. I've cheated once. Oh, bacon. 
a whole bacon. Any any diet's fine as long as you can still eat bacon. Oh, we are full. Way too full. Way too full, but it was a really good meal. So we're gonna go a little bit further down the road to Davidson, Saskatchewan. And this guy's gonna come faster. Oh wait here. I know he's gonna do the no you, no you, no you. Okay. Us first. No! He insists us first. Burn the calories. One of those awkward scenarios. No, you. No, you go. No, you go. No, I insist. I insist. You go. I'm sorry. <laughs> Canadian truck stop. Yeah. <laughs> I am so sorry. People don't know how to park, but they're still polite. It's true. So like I said, uh, we're going to go down to Davidson or Chamberlain and uh, shut her down there. So I'll end the vlog here. Have a good night, everybody, and we'll see you tomorrow. Hey everyone, Matt Bailey here from Rochester, New York with my dog Diesel. You are watching TJV on YouTube. Enjoy. Enjoy.